sama waji nak yang bega yang kecil dek bi so holiday gudu na lor sah vakansi yang kena waj dah mana na nyibisi cik sama reu investir wah enggak dek sa safar man ma koyor juga nyudem top ma cik sama waj nak abu ni pekade top ma hamgen Gambia lagi dah for open lulu mo waral global properties joko jai leker doa mangi kurang doa mangi mendok dengan ampul mana pisin sa disposition dengan ambit jibi security 24 hours de so bagi investir osi enggak mana investir serio jendeker di kunwe hotel ini ham bah Wah, nak amna gan yo kami, dunia begu bunyi yo ciriu nek alaiz, nek ti berbo kami, dunia amsen wan, bun begai tunggu sen leku dek, dunia amsen salbu mak, amsen negu bob, amsen lepu luliap ag global properties mana nek. Jero jero. Jero jero. Devlin niman, niulen global properties, gen jendu seniker, arsen elak, ag busen jabot. Allahu wa inna ilaihi rajiun. Ni lama o ni lama fa bese saya kunang kunang onene. Mbadi mulu ni maki baro alti miyalongo. Abala fa awarata, ani ku ya awarata. Gambia banko banko alti miyalongo science science thing. Abe sunoring suno bije kende ke kende ke kende. The Gambia High Commissioner to Canada and the Gambian Ambassador to the United States of America. Honorable Dr. Dauda Fadera passed away yesterday at Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital in Banjul. Mbadi ngolo, Gambian Ambassador, Miyalong Kab, Ambassador yala nung America Banko kang United States. At Ketamoti Miyalong Ko, High Commissioner, at Elefanan Ketamoti Miyalong Ko, Canada Banko, Abo Fanan Jube Kang. Honorable Dauda Fadera atelong moti miyalongko ndesan afota niola mansatala sulatala ayasamba mbeduala fualama abota nyin dunia mungko noteng nyin dunia miyalongko ndesan nkatari dibo kono nkatari nyoso sola mukaso nyola kumola andu mfanang nkatari nyokelela wato olbela Katubula la nyola kuwa noma dronye nduni yako no. Na junubula katula kafula nyoma ibesiala watu ulbela. Honorable Dauda Fadera abota nyin nduni ya mungu na tengu. Abitaka ndame ntonya dinkirato. Warantu atata dame ntonya dinkirato. Sain sain tengu. Abe dame. Ala umari fo alama ala soto beti ya ndi kendeke kendeke kendeke. Honorable Dauda Fadera ye abota nyin dunia mungko na ten ka tambindi wala kendeke kendeke kendeke. Mwole mwati miyalonko ala sasa wale alandi leptano do banjul dame yalonko ikafu jeleko Royal Victoria Hospital. Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital banjul sato yukono. Honorable Dauda Dauda Fadera aketa mwoti fanang miyalonko. Aye palaso muta Gambia Banko kang miyalonko. Eka fole ko Secretary General. Aketa mwoti miyalonko. Gambia do kula al miyalonko. Ibebe Gambia Banko kang nung. Atele keta ibela nyato nko tu nung. Mwol miyalonko mansa keta do kula. Abala fa awarada. Kendeke, kendeke, kendeke. Ndesan. Civil servant, he served as a permanent secretary at Personal Management Office in 2017. Honorable Dauda Fadera was appointed secretary general and head of civil service. In January 2018, he presented his credential as ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentially to former U.S. President Donald Trump. May God Almighty grant him Janatul Firdaus. Mbadi ngulu, Honorable Dauda Fadera aketa mwoti miyalonko, 2017, sama kono, yata Gambia Banko kang kake, Secretary General di Gambia Banko kang. 
January karo 2018 sa wakono. Birin sanji kile mbodal. Honorable Dawda Fadere aketa mwoti miyalonko. Ala kaito aya sika ka di Amerika Banko la President Koto la ikafomu yako Donald Trump. Kaitende alako Gambia Banko yenden natu na jang ila Banko kang. Puru ngana Banko la mola kuol tamandi. Ani mfana kafunyoya miyalonko abe Amerika ni Gambia Banko tema. Puru ngake mwoti miyalonko mbo tala mba champion na mba silo nyin tala mba walana honorable dauda fadera mbedwala fo alama alasi arjanno diala miyalonko abe kallankeala kendeke kendeke kende ndesan lo lao lo la abebe lalale nila mao nila ma fabe se saya kunan kunan nene kulli nafsin zai katul ma Abala fa warata na sawantel ni tata ndelba munkela watol bela wala mkadwe. Watol bela, watol bela, watol bela. Katun dua ika sula otorena. Ni tata fe tata ibanta fereng. Ila barul mi yalong kwa yike dunia kono inu wala katari tari nyindulato. Itata daming inu wala katari bulari nyo noma watol bela. Abete yata bang wala watara bulari noma. Ajaw yata bang wala watara bulari noma woto. Alinga dua katung dua fana lona le mita ndi mola aka mota le ay malaikul ta ye yamfa ye kul sonenda bul anu mansata la miyalon ko kala malaikul direct pour ye kul ga asake mansati miyalon ko ase balafa amarigne dual miyalon ko ibe selala ni selta inyam honorable dauda fadera shocking news is uh, circulating on social media that he was poisoned. You know, food poisoning is something trending on social media since the death of Dauda Fadera. This is very, very sad. Gambia is a country full of sad stories, full of sad news. You know, Gambia nowadays is realizing things that nobody ever think that those, those things will happen in this small country, less than 3 million people. If these news are true, if these informations are true, then we are doomed as a country. Abala fa warata mbadi on mbam foka angale kan to kibaron mi yalon ko ibe janjan kan alhawa ba kono ika fu dame ko social media ibe sa kulet kan wolam ibe yayi yayi kan kaitandi ko dauda fadira mole mat mi yalon ko i posino le kay domoro kono a wolo domo wala natake ala sayati a sababu nyen kibarol mbam foka angale kan to non koni ayatar to nyalum Wata Gambia Banko mbanko wati miyalo ko. Nturubantale Gambia Banko kera banko wati miyalo ko. We are lost. Mfiltale mwala mbe kera nyame nsaye. Katun Gambia sayo kuole leka kijio kuole miyalo ko. Mafo njine kera. Kuole leka ke Gambia Banko kwa miyalo ko. Ijaka loka wara kuole leka ke Gambia Banko kwa miyalo ko. Mwone ni mwansi ye mira kuole beke la Gambia Banko kwa. This is sad. Very, very very sad honorable dauda fadera adiamu ta mola saala mi yalon ko aketa nun america banko kan ta moti mi yalon ko adiamu ta kibar bunye mi yalon ko asembo warta duniya ko no kende nyin ko ya balafa kadun ala banko dimul wala tuda nyin dimba malot mbala kuma kan pile la jang Balafa kumu ni yalan ko awol la fo nyin kibar bumba mba pile la jang nyin keta wato ti yalan ko amam me bage honorable fadera be kendaring a jato bo bambandi bari ndesan jong ikata takan ne inila wato be benga balafa wart alim be dua honorable fadera fa alma ala saso arjanno la ngani na sotale bi this is all i have for you today this is active tv update now from Washington. Daughter, thank you so much for being with us. I understand that you have left D.C. Uh, you left D.C. when the fire happened. You went to New York. 
You spent time at the hospitals. You spoke to family members of the victims. What did they tell you? Thank you very much, Sarah, for having me. Uh, indeed, uh, that's exactly what I did, and I had, this is what I had to do. Uh, this was indeed a, a huge tragedy for our community in uh, New York. And uh, when we got down, I, I, was, I, I, I couldn't actually uh, control my own tears when I saw the emotions there. Like you have said, the people out there is a close community. Everybody knows everybody. So this has really hit our community. When I got in there, the first thing we did was to go to the mosque, meet the community leaders, com meet the imams, and the youth leaders, and then uh, embark a tour around the hotels where our, uh, the victims are currently housed. So we met them. They had horrific stories of, uh, of how they escaped, how they were trying to help each other, and uh, how other people lost their lives. This really has taken so many lives. You know, when you realize that there is a fire ravaging your building, it's a very difficult decision you have to make in those split seconds about whether or not to try to escape in that moment. And unfortunately, a lot of the people who did try to escape end up, ended up being trapped, ended up dying as they fled to safety. A lot of people, or some of the victims rather, as I understand it, were as high as the 18th floor. They tried to escape by running down the stairs. What happened? Exactly, that's what happened. Uh, I, uh, as soon as uh, the, the incident was reported to the emergency services, the first respondent got to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the place in a very short period of time, as I understand it. And they issued warning to the residents to stay indoors. But like you have said, you know, when you are faced with a tragedy like that, if a, a big house like that got it, or completely got it on fire, it's, you have to make a decision. Some people decided perhaps the best way to do uh, was to run out and escape with their lives. But they are the ones who actually got into trouble because the smoke was huge. 